Backing projects on Kickstarter or Indiegogo is a lot like sticking your penis into a glory hole. You never know what you're going to get, or in most cases, what you're not going to get. You roll the dice with your wallet by backing something you think looks good, but a lot of times it doesn't deliver, it never had a chance of delivering, or you get something that's super shitty or not at all what you thought it would be. But Indiegogo, I think, is far worse than Kickstarter in this department because a lot of the projects that go up there just seem like they have no vetting whatsoever, where they'll have these products that aim to cure climate change by making you put a butt plug in your asshole or something for $50 on their campaign. It's just outrageous pseudoscience nonsense. And to illustrate this point, I found the latest one that I think is quite the banger. This is the Lucha T8. Life on our planet exists in balance. Or at least, it should. Yet, as we shaped our world, we've tilted the scales, and now the natural balance between us and our planet is lost. Yeah, that should just be all kinds of red flags. Unless you're like an anti-vax mom, that right there should just tell you this product they're about to sell is super bullshit. They're making it sound like some Star Wars shit, you know? We're just way out of line with the Force. We've lost our connection to it. Like fucking Dragon Ball Z, we can no longer draw energy from the planet into a spirit bomb. We now live in a world no longer naturally in sync with our bodies. But not all is lost. We may not be able to go back in time, but we can go back to our roots. Back to our true selves. It just sounds like the plot to a Neil Breen or a Tommy Wiseau movie. And I'd like to point out something right here, address the elephant with the condom in the room. The backers and the amount of money they have makes no sense. There's no way they got $12,000 from 48 backers. This is most likely just the creator pumping money from his own asshole into the project. to kind of prime the pump to make it appear to people that it's legitimate. Like, hey, look, all these people are putting money towards this project. Look how much it's making. People want this. You should be in on this. It's a common technique for a lot of these fraudulent businesses on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on here. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it is real and this product just caught fire in a bunch of those soccer mom, don't trust science Facebook groups. Lucha T8 is a health improvement device that creates and emits the Earth's natural frequency of 7.83 Hz. By emitting the Earth's frequency, Lucha T8 utilizes the naturally occurring synchronicity between our body and our planet to support regeneration of the organism. Sci-fi fanfic from middle schoolers is more scientifically grounded than that explanation for what this piece of shit is and what it does. They make it sound like Earth is constantly emitting a 7.83 hertz frequency to the cosmos like a distress signal, like a fucking SOS. It is just a mindlessly ridiculous product that is very common on these crowdfunding websites and some of them do get real funding from real people which is the saddest part that people buy into this garbage but i mean you have these people going crazy for essential oils damn near giving a suppository to their children of eucalyptus leaves because they read one article on the internet that said that that would help somewhere and then you trace it back and it turns out it was just a joke started on fortune that now people are actually buying into it's sad how easy it is to exploit this growing movement of distrust science and believe garbage because there's definitely people that would look at something like this and go, wow, that makes a lot of sense. If I wear this block of wood on my neck that just has a blinking red light on it, it's going to help. Because the video said, the earth is constantly making a synchronicity titty at 7.83 hertz. And if this thing's emitting the same frequency, well then man, the science checks out. You'd be dumb not to buy this thing. It's just pathetic. Lucha T8 helps eliminate lack of energy, exhaustion, anxiety, insomnia, stress, tension, migraines, and different types of pain. Yeah, the only pain this would help with is the pain of having too much money. If you're too wealthy, you can throw some money to this thing and it'll help with that problem. So how does Lucha T8 work? All you have to do is place the device close to a painful or troubled spot for no more than 30 minutes at a time, and it will balance the body's energy, metabolism, and polarity in a way that gives the organism a chance to recover. It's just a blinking red light. You could get the same effect if you have a wireless mouse. Just put that on some painful spot on your body. You'll get the same effect. And it's also very evil from this creator to say to hold it there for 30 minutes. That's fucked up, man. You know some dumb fucking idiots are actually going to hold that thing there for 30 minutes. I mean, you should you could have just said 10 seconds, they'll believe it and do that, and that's a lot less time consuming. But maybe this guy hates his customers, and to be fair, you'd have to be pretty goddamn dumb to buy this in the first place. You may as well just laugh about it, like, haha, made this guy actually hold that thing there for 30 minutes, just wasting their time. Could have said 5 hours, and I guarantee someone would have done it. 
Lucha T8 is made to be by your side all the time. It celebrates the fact we only thrive when we align ourselves with the forces of the planet to which we owe our existence. Lucha T8 is not an instant cure or miracle medicine. It's a symbol of where we've been and where we're going. Yeah, but you just said it helps actually cure some of these things and work towards making them better. You're calling it a regenerative device. That means you're saying it is helping to cure those things and improve those things. But now you're just saying it's a symbol of where we've been and where we're going, so it's just a fucking souvenir from a gift shop? It sounds like they're trying to cover their own ass if someone actually buys this on tries to use it on an injury and it doesn't help at all. They can't come after them legally because they said it was going to work and it didn't. I get that they're trying to do some legal talk here, but it doesn't work when everything else in the video contradicts what you're saying. It paves the way to a harmonious and peaceful existence, leading you towards what you are meant to be. Stable, strong, happy. Lucha T8 unlocks our organism's potential to self-regulate and balance itself. It's a blinking light on a string. But that's Indiegogo in a nutshell, baby. That's what you sign up for when you're looking on Indiegogo for something interesting. You get shit like this. There's also one I saw a while back that was about water. A special kind of water that they hyped up is like this panacea that would cure anything because it was water that they made listen to Mozart for a month before selling. Uh, it was as dumb as it sounds. But yeah, that's Indiegogo. Uh, just the kind of shit you find on there. That's it. See ya.